Our lesson today about the lateral area and the total area of a cube. As we studied before, that the cube has six faces, six faces uh, as four faces and two bases. So the lateral faces or lateral area is consists of four faces of a cube. And as we know, the cube consists of the shape of squares. So the area of one face of a cube equals side by side. So as we change it, it to L, so the area of one face equal length by length or L by L. And we defined by L square. So now we will study the lateral area and the total area of a cube. The lateral area equal the area of one face multiplying by four and we defined by 4L square. And the total area equal the area of one face multiplying by 6. And we defined by 6L square. So the lateral area equal 4L square. And the total area equal 6L square. Now we will take the examples for the first two rules. Example number one. A cube with each length equals 6 cm, find its lateral and the total area. So we have L equals 6. We're starting with our rules. Lateral area equal 4 L square. Equal 4 multiplying L, we have L equal 6. So 4 multiplying 6 power 2, or 6 square. And we will get the answer 144 cm square. And for the total area, we will write the rule. 6L square, so 6 multiplying 6 power 2, or 6 square, and we will get the answer 216 centimeters square. Example number 2, if the area of one face of a cube is 25 centimeters square, so now we have the area of one face, so we have L square, so L square equal 25 centimeters square. Find its lateral and total area. So the lateral area equal 4 L square. Multi equal 4 multiplying 25. And we'll get the answer 100 centimeter square. And the total area equal 6 L square. And it's equal 6 multiplying 25. And we'll get the answer 150 centimeter square. Okay, so now we have to note that th we have the area of one face equal L square. So if we have the total area, how can we get the area of one face? We have two rules to get the area of one face. If we have the total area, so we'll divide it by 6. And if we have the lateral area, we will divide it by 4. Let's take two examples. For the two rules, example number three, if the total area of a cube equal 486 centimeters square, find the area of one face and its lateral area. The area of one face equal L square and it's equal total area dividing by six. So 486 divided by six we will get 81 centimeter square. Now we have the L square and the area of one face, so we can get the, the lateral area. The lateral area equal 4 L square, equal 4 multiplying 81, and we'll get 324 centimeter square. And example number four, now we have the lateral area of a cube. So if the lateral area of a cube is 400 centimeter square, Find the area of one face and find its total area. The area of one face, L square, equal lateral area dividing by 4. So the lateral area equal 400 dividing by 4. So L square equal 100 centimeter square. Now we can get the total area. The total area equals 6 L square. Equal 6 multiplying 100 equals 600 centimeter square.
Note number two, how can we get the edge length of a cube? How can we get L or one side of a cube? We have three rules to get the edge length of any cube. The first rule, the side length or L equal the sum of all edges dividing by 12. So if you have the sum of all edges of a cube, you can divide it by 12. And number two, the side length or L equal the parameter of one face dividing by four. The rule number three, you can get the side length or L by cubic root for the volume. You can put cubic root for the volume of a cube. Now let's take examples to get the, the edge length of a cube. Example number five, if the sum of edges length of a cube is 84 centimeter, how can we get the lateral area and total area? First, we have to get the edge length. We have to get the L. So L equal the sum of all edges dividing by 12. So equal 84 dividing by 12. So L equal 7 centimeter. Now we can easily get lateral area and the total area. Lateral area equal 4 L square. So equal 4 multiplying 7 square equal 196 centimeter square. And the total area equals 6 L square. So equal 6 multiplying 7 square equal 294 centimeter square. Example number 6. If the volume of a cube is 1331 centimeter cube. So now we have the volume. Find its lateral and the total area. So first we have to get the edge length. We have to get the L. So L equal the cubic root of the volume. So the cubic root to 1331 equal 11 centimeter. So easily we can get lateral area and total area. So lateral area equal 4 L square equal 4 multiply 11 power 2 equal 484 centimeter square. And the total area equal 6 L square equal 6 multiplying 11 power 2 equal 726 centimeter square. Example number 7. If the parameter of one face of a cube is 32 centimeter, how can we get the lateral and the total area? Also, we have to get the edge, the edge length or L. So L equal parameter dividing by 4. So equal 32 dividing by 4 equal 8 centimeter. Now we can get lateral area and the total area. Lateral area equal 4 L square equal 4 multiplying 8 power 2 equal 256 centimeter square. And the total area equal 6 L square equal 6 multiplying 8 power 2 equal 384 centimeter square. Now we will take another example. The, uh, we have a cube without lead. What the meaning of without lead? A cube without lead, that's meaning we have only five faces, not six faces. We have, we have no lead, so we have only five faces. And the sum of each lenses is 60 centimeters. Find its lateral and total area. First, we will, t we will get the each lens or L equals the sum dividing by 12. So 60 dividing by 12 equals 5 centimeter. Then we will get lateral area. We have lateral area 4 L square equal 4 multiplying 5 power 2 equal 100 centimeter square. But in the total area, it is without lead, so we can get we can't get 6 L square. It will be 5. So total area now will be 5 L square equal 5 multiplying 5 power 2 equal 125 centimeter square. 
Now we will start to solve the book, our book, page 82. Starting with number one. Number one is completing. Number A, a cube of each length six centimeter. Then its lateral area will be what? We will write the rule of lateral area and get LA equal four L square equal four multiplying six square equal 144 centimeter square. Number B, the base area of a cube is 49 centimeter square. So now we have the area of one face equal 49 or L square equal 49. How can we get the lateral area? So the lateral area equal 4 L square equal 4 multiplying 49 mul equal 196 centimeter square. Number C, we have the sum of the edge length of a cube equal 84 centimeter. Then the length of the edge, he want only one edge, he want L. So we can easily get L or the edge length by the sum dividing 12. So 84 divided 12 equals 7. Number E, if the lateral area of a cube equal 100 centimeter square, then its total area equal what? So first we have to get L square. L square equal lateral dividing by 4 equal 100 dividing by 4 equal 25 centimeter square. Now we can get the total area. The total area equals 6 L square. So equal 6 multiplying 25. We can get it 150 centimeter square. Number F. If the volume of a cube 1000 centimeter square, then its total area equal what? From the volume we can get the each length. So L equal cubic root of volume. So cubic root to 1000 equal, equal 10 centimeter. Now we can get the total area. 6 L square equals 6 multiplied 10 power 2 equals 600 centimeter square. The last one in the complete. If the parameter of base of a cube equal 24 centimeter, then its total area equal we have the parameter, so we can get the edge length by parameter dividing by 4 equal 32 dividing by 4 equal 8. So the t total area equal 6 L square equal 6 multiplying 8 power 2 equal 384 centimeter square. Now in page 83, we have uh, to solve number 4 and 5 and 6 about the cube. Number four, if the lateral area of a cube is 36, find its total area. And it's so easy, we have lateral area, so we can get L square. So L square equal lateral dividing by four, equal 36 dividing by four equal nine. And the total area equal six L square, so six by nine equal 54 centimeter square. Number five, a cube of each length 8 cm, calculate the ratio, the ratio between its lateral area and its total area. So first we have to get the lateral area and the total area, then we will get the ratio. Lateral area equal 4 L square, so equal 4 multiplying 8 power 2. The, uh, we will get 256 cm square. And the total area equals 6 L square equals 6 multiplying 8 power 2 equals 384 centimeter square. Now we have lateral area and total area. Let's get the ratio. The ratio between them, so 256 to 384, starting dividing by 4, uh, each one or each side. So we we'll get 64 to 96. 64 and 96 in table 8, so we can divide it by 8, and we will get 8 to 12. We can also dividing by 4, so we will get 2 to 3.
and it is the simplest form. Question number six. The total area of a cube is 726 centimeters square, and we want to get the lateral area. So L square equal total dividing by six equals 726 dividing by six, and we will get 121 centimeters square. Now we can we can get lateral area. Lateral area equal four L square equal four multiplying 121 equal 484 centimeters square. Thank you.